Let's go down the steps. These old concrete steps. Solid concrete with a solid wooden rail. Down to where they meet the sand of the beach. The sun is setting out in the ocean. And the shadows are growing longer. It's the perfect evening for a walk on the beach. The waves are washing in, gently washing over the beach, and then flowing back out again. It's like a giant breath, breathing gently in and breathing out again. The sand is gray and yellow, and darker where it's wet and the foam on the waves is white as cotton wool. Hey! It rises at the crests of the waves, and the waves fall onto the beach. Crash. Wow. The waves run in, and then rush out again, with a whoosh. Wow. There is wood hey. scattered all over this beach, washed up by the ocean. Driftwood. Sticks and branches that have been blown from trees. And the bark has been stripped from the branches as it rolls in the surf against the beach's pebbles. So the bark is gone and underneath the wood is white. The pieces come in all different shapes and sizes. Some curved, some straight. <laughs> this piece looks like an ear. This piece looks like a loaf of French bread. But you wouldn't want to bite into it. This piece would make an excellent walking stick. Families come down to the beach on warm afternoons, and children have made little sculptures out of the driftwood. Someone has stacked a great big pile on their ends, their tips meeting to form a cone, like a wooden teepee, a den you could hide inside. Someone has laid out the wood in the shape of a checkerboard. It's perfect for hopscotch. A little stream, reaching the edge of the grassland above the beach, forms a little waterfall. Rain fell across the land above the beach, and the drops gathered together in this little stream. As the river ran through its mossy channel, it gathered more and more raindrops to it. Hey! This is where they jumped down to the beach to join the ocean. You can even see where the stream has worn a groove into the cliff's edge. Wow. A notch, like the spout of a jug. The stream bounces from rock to rock, playfully. Hey. Green moss and black algae has grown on the cliff's face. It's wet and it shines golden in the evening light. And down here, where the water runs to the sea, it forms a pattern of little rivers across the sand. You can make a dam at the edge of your shoe and watch as the water flows around it. In the end, there is nothing that will stand in its way. It must feel good to be reunited with the ocean. Maybe it feels like coming home. 
Like many things, the more you look at the beach, the more you see. There is a band of pebbles that runs down the middle of it, a band of tiny grey stones. And when you look more closely, you can see that the ocean, through the crashing of the waves, has arranged them rather delicately <laughs> further down the beach are bigger pebbles some flattened ideal for skimming on the water's surface on calm days some are large black and heavy as paperweights but as you go further up this band of pebbles you can see that these are smaller, the size of little robin's eggs. And up here, the pebbles are smaller, even still, like a hundred thousand pinheads. The sound of the pebbles washing over each other is a gentle, shushing sound. Like the ocean is gently sorting the sand. Wow. Shushing itself to sleep. Hey! Up on the cliffs is a crop of rich green succulents. These ones have a lovely family name. Asphodels. They're plants that are especially juicy. Their leaves are thick and feel almost rubbery to the touch. <laughs> if you break off one of the leaves and squeeze it, beads of water form on the broken surface. Here and there, Bright flowers in purple and yellow add color, like splashes of colored paint on this green carpet that covers the rocks. Like a blanket that has been drawn over the rocks to keep them warm from the sea spray. Drawing around them at night as the sun sets on the ocean. At the sand's edge, the cliffs rise up into the gentle green hills above. Tilted on a diagonal. Grey and black, with dark seams running through them. These layers were laid down over thousands and thousands of years. They're made of the bodies of tiny sea creatures which covered the ocean floor like a layer of dust on an unswept mantelpiece. And over the years, more and more of these layers hey. built up. And they were packed together by the weight of the ocean. And eventually, they hardened wow. into rocks which were at the bottom of the sea. And wow. over thousands of years, the pressures under the earth built up and forced the rocks from the depths of the sea out hey. into the world where they formed these cliffs. If you're lucky, The storm is coming closer. The storm is coming closer. Hey. 
Ah, 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 ah,